Now, as Bill was saying, we are about to head into March, and uh, we, we hope that the cold turns as we turn the calendar. The cold can just go back in the closet yes. as well. We, we put it in the closet, but it doesn't get put away like in the attic for the rest of the year. So yeah. we can at least kind of push it back a little ways. Okay. Hey, hang around for the next three minutes and 25 seconds because it's going to be worth it to come back at the yeah. end of weather. Yeah. Just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with all that, you are uh, looking here at our weather bug cameras, our four of them around the city. All of them show the high clouds. Uh, you see it here from the Lexington Financial Center. And again, it's going to be a, a pretty, pretty sunset for us, but those clouds are around, but they're not rain making clouds. In fact, we could go the rest of this week without rain. Max Track Doppler, quarter after six, nothing to show. It has been a very wet winter. No two ways around it. Some of it in the form of snow, a lot of it in the form of rain. Spring, meteorologically speaking, begins tomorrow, March the 1st. Be prepared for spring weather. We'll talk about that. Nice week of weather we've had in a while. And we really could take this back all the way till the middle of December, where it's been one thing after another, week after week. But this week, calm. Good. No rain today. No rain for the rest of the month, which has got about another six hours to go. Uh, so we'll finish off with 7.7 .7 inches of rain for the month of February. Sixth wettest we've recorded for the winter season. 17 and a half inches of rain. That's the fifth wettest December, January, February. And how about to start the year? Just January and February. So the first one sixth of 2022 and we come in eighth place. So it has been really, really wet. What's interesting is how weather works in cycles. We always talk about that, but you really show it here. 1950, 1951, there are two of your top three. So back to back years, really wet first two months of the year. 1937, 1939, numbers two and four. So again, you've got these multi-year cycles in play here. Uh, even now with 2022 and 2018, okay, within close, but 2019 is number 11 on the list. So there you go. Talking about the spring season. Statewide tornado drill is Wednesday. This is severe weather awareness week in Kentucky. 10.07 in the morning, we will have our statewide drill. Now, your weather radio is likely not going to go off because they're not sending it out as a tornado warning. They're sending it out as a special statement. So, but still think about what your plan is because severe weather can indeed happen this early in the year and on this date ish because it was a leap day. February 29th, 2012, we saw tornadoes come through. An EF2 that went through Morgan County, a little south of West Liberty. Uh, another EF2 went through Casey and Russell County. Ironically, these storms were almost on the exact same paths as the ones two days later uh, that did all the damage and caused all the horrific conditions we're going to talk about when we get to uh, March the 2nd here. Those storms also packed hurricane force winds and baseball sized hail. So again, spring can get going. That was a much warmer year than what we've seen uh, this season. 51 right now, Bluegrass Airport. Southwest wind comes in at 13 from the Mesonet. A few upper 40s showing up. Carlisle, Cynthiana, Maysville, Stanford, all in the upper 40s as is Somerset. Boonville's at 53. Overnight lows, those were in the 20s overnight. It was indeed a cold night, but it's also the last one we're going to have for a while. Low 60s for high temperatures tomorrow. That is a very good thing. For tonight, mainly clear. There will be some thin clouds, not as cold. Mid 30s tomorrow. Uh, let's go with some sunshine. Spring begins on a good note for us. Meteorologically, low 60s. Low 60s there again on Wednesday. Low 50s as we get you on into Thursday. That's your little hiccup for the week because after that, it's 60s and 